I just might have a new movie to add to my list of my favorite movies of all time. Hey everyone, my name's Austin and I have to sneeze. <coughs> hey everyone, my name's Austin and I'm here to help you dig deeper and go further to better understand faith, film, and everything in between. If that's exciting to you and you're new here, consider subscribing for my new videos every Friday. I saw an incredible movie a couple weeks ago. My friend Josiah, who was in my last video, which if you saw that, I'll link it up above, and he brought this to show my wife and I, and I knew nothing about it going in. And I've been doing that a lot lately, of watching movies, just kind of going in blind. And I've really enjoyed it because you really get to experience a movie for what it has to offer with no expectations, and it's really fun. Now, the movie that he showed us is called Sing Street, and essentially it's a story of a boy who gets moved to a new school, meets a pretty girl, and starts a band to impress her. It's a coming of age story and that quick synopsis may set it up to be pretty stereotypical, but it is so much more than that. The characters in this story are one of my favorite aspects of the film. Connor is the main boy who we follow throughout the story, and just his relationship with Rafina, the girl that he meets, is a joy to watch as they blossom and deepen their relationship together. When he first meets her, he simply just starts up this band in an effort to impress her. He thinks she's a pretty girl, and he's like, well, I'm gonna see if I can impress her with this. Then, as he grows in his musical ability and gets closer to his bandmates, it becomes so much more to him. Finally having this relationship with someone he deeply cares about and his music, he finally has a passion and a direction for his life. And much of this is thanks to his older brother Brendan, who might be my favorite character in this movie. Brendan's character is a mentor to Connor, but the most interesting thing about their relationship is that he himself is really a failure. He dropped out of college, he's given up on his music, he's known commonly as a stoner, but he doesn't let his own failures get past him in that he strives to see Connor overcome his own failures in life. Now I mentioned Brendan is a mentor to Connor, and what I mean by this is he uses his passion for music because he may have given up on his own music, but he still listens to bands like Duran Duran, The Cure, Aha, all that kind of stuff. And he uses this music to teach Connor lessons about life. One of the most memorable things that Brendan says to Connor in his teachings to him is that rock and roll is a risk. You risk being ridiculed. And as much as he's talking about music in that moment, he's so much talking about life too. You are taking risks each and every day, and you may risk being ridiculed, but you have to stick with it. You have to fight the good fight and know that what you're doing is important and will be worth it. And through this, Connor is inspired to write for his own band that he starts. And the music that he writes is incredible and inspiring. Since seeing this movie myself, the music has not left my mind. And I'm talking in particular about the original music, because it is excellent. Songs like Beautiful Sea, Drive It Like You Stole It, they're always bouncing around in my head. I'm always kind of singing a verse here and there as I'm going along throughout my day. This music will hook you and keep you wanting to listen to it again and again and again and again. Connor's love songs about Rafina are incredibly genuine and heartwarming. When we first meet her, she thinks she has her path all laid out for her life. She says she's a model, and she's starting to get big and popular, and she's just gonna get out of this town. And through his music and their relationship, she completely rethinks everything. They're so charming and sweet to watch on screen. Their on-screen chemistry is really good. They're so much fun to watch as they grow closer to each other and who they want to be. Now, I've talked a lot about the main characters, but that doesn't mean the side characters are insignificant at all. Connor's best friend, Eamon, is great. Watching him and Connor write music together is inspiring, and their passion really is contagious. There's even a really neat character arc for a bully that picks on Connor at his new school, which I did not expect and really liked. And the rest of Connor's friends slash bandmates are really funny, and it's really cool to see them as they start off as total strangers and become best friends throughout the movie. Overall, absolutely, this is a movie you should not ignore. There's a great lesson about pursuing your passion, taking control of your life, unafraid to take risks. And for me personally, I know God has a plan for my life, and I want to live it out in a way that glorifies Him. I'm reminded of one of my favorite lyrics in a song in the movie. This is your life. You can go anywhere. You gotta grab the wheel and own it, put the pedal down, and drive it like you stole it. If you want to dig deeper and go further to better understand faith, film, and everything in between, you are in the right place. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Check out another one right here, and I will see you in the next one.